Hello and welcome back, comrades. You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I have some more adventure communist action for you. Now, this game, between the last time I covered it and now, has had a decent update where they've really released some things and rebalanced some stuff. So what I did is I actually reset the game there that you're seeing. This is the update that happened on October 11th, so I'm sure they've continued to develop it since then, which we haven't seen the next edition of it. It's been about a month or so. But anyhow, it's updated some stuff here, so we're going to take a look at that and see how that has changed the game and personally i think it's it's doing quite a bit better first and foremost there was that price or so we say an overall currency which in my brain didn't make a whole lot of sense now we have comrades and we take a look at like the farmers or the workers here even the miners everything here uses comrades a comrade at least to then make into one of those workers, which makes a lot more sense in my brain. It, it simplifies the whole process because beforehand, it used to take, you know, X amount of soldiers to make a nurse and stuff like that. And to be honest, that logically just doesn't make sense. This makes more sense. We have a population that is unassigned of 1.2 million. I reset the game here. It didn't take me very long to get back to this point. And as you can see right here, I've got everything pretty much it's all even 2,000 workers of each and the upgrades as well the first thing I did is collecting scientists and scientists allow you to unlock a lot of stuff they're basically scientist is what you use to upgrade everything on the map here so unlocks gives you an idea of how far you are progressed in the game metals is rewarded for reaching certain milestones so that makes a lot of sense I can claim um, some science points right there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that yes give me those right there I think it was by creating 10 million of either of these. I got that reward right there. So there we go, I have some of those. And if I go down to experiments, you have trials. These are temporary things that run for a short amount of time. States is like an overall upgrade. All output times three, all output times nine. These are larger goals that you kind of, if you're, if you're familiar with Adventure Capitalist, these are like your planetary upgrades right there. So these are what you could buy technically with gold. Industry is another sort of way to look at that same sort of thing. Again, total overall upgrades right here I can get my potato clicks times 15 or flags or anything of that just for five science right there obviously if I click this stuff here and if I can click it really fast I have a double clicks mounted to my macro on my keyboard here so I can just crank through these you will eventually get to your capsules if you click on stuff enough you should be able to unlock some of these capsules and you can get different rewards be it workers be it just um, materials i guess is what we're going to call this land materials assets how about assets that's a good way of putting it and that will upgrade certain things the, the main goal though is to actually get down to these colonies now the last time we looked at these these didn't really seem to have much of a purpose at all but now it makes a lot more sense if you get a colony down here which takes a lot a lot of resources right here you will lose all this stuff but it will increase the yield to one scientist right there of however long it takes to actually complete that so that gives you a good goal to start building scientists in a way that happens over time. So there you go. You can, it gives you a nice big goal. That's your planetary reset. So if we look at it in adventure capitalist terms, then these are five different planets that you're working on here. Potatoes, lands, ore, weapons, medicine, that sort of idea. And then you can cash in everything you have to gain the ability to get more scientists, which will then give you more experiments, states, industries, and whatnot. It all makes a lot more sense now than it did before. So let's go ahead and get some of these upgrades going here. Um, I'm gonna upgrade everything here just to the next level. So 7X is what it took right there. Now I'm getting 16,000 per click. So you can see that giant upgrade right there, 7X on all of those. Not all of them happening. Let's see here, if I run all my industries, Ooh, buddy, that would take a long time. There we go. First of my daily capsule. Yes, four. Nice. Start running that as fast as I can. One of the experiments I might want to do here is if we go to the trials right here, comrade speed is 2x. Not really want to do all click outputs is 3x for 10 minutes. That's pretty long, but I think it's worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. So now every time I click this, look at that. It's 50,000. Yeah, buddy get it going i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the rest of these since i have this upgraded as much as i do and there we go we can really run these industries fast yeah give me that daily capsule there it is three scientists right there it makes sense to spend your money on that Woo! making money 
Get all that land. There we go. Hey, a thousand workers. Good deal. Ooh, another 1,500 workers from the daily capsule right there. Anything else waiting upgrade? Yeah, the weapons. Oh, we still got the medicine that needs to happen here. There we go. Got another daily capsule. 1,500 nurses. Beautiful. And a three of three daily potatoes for the potatoes or whatever. Nice. What I have here is a Logitech G710, and what I've done is I've macroed my one, two, three, four, five, six different macro keys to a double click. So each one is actually a click. I guess it's not double click. So I'm actually using my keyboard to click a little bit faster and using my mouse and keyboard together. So that really helps right here. I might even have a few more macro buttons that I can actually use, but using the technology I have in front of me to play the game a little bit faster. Come on, nurses. There we go. Boom. I got to really pay attention to exactly what I'm I'm getting, I guess. You don't want to leave any of those daily capsules vacant if you don't have to. Or whatever. You know what I mean. Boom. Look at all that land. It seems like your daily capsule is multiplied by your multiplier on that resource. So it's always in your best interest to upgrade those as high as possible. If I take a look at the experiments, I still have seven minutes and 10 seconds. So that shows up right there. There we go, got myself another daily capsule. Very good. Woo, I'm knocking these out. All right, so if we take a look at some of these other things like the commune right here, it takes one comrade and it takes a lot of farmers. So here's where you can spend your workers to then upgrade them so that they start recursively adding more and more to your population. So that's what you wanna do. I'm gonna buy a commune right there. There we go, got our first one. Gonna add a blasting site as well. And another one over here for the mine. What is that one? I don't actually know. It is a, just a mine. Uh, a fire team as well, and an ambulance. So there we go. Each one of these is running. You can see it has a timer on it. And as those complete, they're adding to my total pool of whatever workforce is in that area. And these obviously stack up, so this, one here is more valuable than that and you can see its cost though they're usually more expensive so you don't necessarily want to spend everything you absolutely have on it if possible if you want to continue making progress that day I, there's definitely going to be a mathematical like statistic that you can use that eventually we'll figure out here we'll see if they continue to balance the game which i'm sure they will buy 10x you can buy 50 percent now in this case, I would like to have a button here that is by 20% because of all the different comrades right there. Because that would make a lot more sense to me. Or maybe buy a thousand, that would also be good too. Because right now, you know, buying by a hundred still takes a lot to get through one million comrades. So I'll do 50%, we'll crank up the farmers, we'll get those really going right there. And then I'll just roll the other half into land, 50%. So this is just a reduction, 50% all the way down. Right down to medicine. There we go. So now in the metals here, I should have some more. The bronze coming to, I think that was for unlocking the first commune right there. There we go, got ourselves a lot more science out of that. We can see the progress right here. Gather, what is that, 10 million workers right there? You can see what I'm saying. This is a lot easier to follow than the game was previously. And that was the big problem I had with the game previously is that it was, it was just hard to follow. But no, it makes sense. Boom, there we go. So I have 25 scientists right now. If I go over to experiments, do I have a state? All output times three. Auto clicks all resources button every five seconds. Stacking cuts the time in half. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna run this because I'm gonna be, this helps me be more AFK. There we go. So every five seconds I should see this click through. Maybe. <laughs> Hmm. Well, it doesn't show up right next to run all industries like that. That would be nice if it did that because that would make a little bit more sense right there. I'm going to buy 50%. going to crank up these as high as I can go right here. Mine? What does the miner take that I don't have? Oh, it takes a bunch of potatoes. So you do need to definitely build up your resources in certain ways to kind of build up these larger stuff right here because they require resources that are not just on that one resource, which makes a lot of sense. I'm going to run all industries just to make a mine. Jeez. Pretty expensive. So obviously these get more and more expensive as you go up. Well, maybe not. It just seems like potatoes is the one resource that you need a whole lot of. Need a lot of potatoes. 
one fire team. All right, those are so expensive that it's just not worth me really investing that much into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get as many potatoes as possible here. Buy as many farmers. There we go. Crank those up. You can see how many communes I can make over there. It takes a lot of potatoes to make those, so... I'll crank them up. Also takes comrades as well. So one of the nice things by setting this by 100% down here and then um, pressing on the little money symbol over there is you can see what your limiting factor is. Right now it's just the amount of comrades I can... I can get. I'm not 100% sure how I got this to 13 a second. I guess it is one comrade per second. So here it is. Your unlocks give you more comrades per second. That's what's going on right there. And this is how many nurses or stuff right there. So if I had more in military, if I just had a lot more of these people, another 20,000 or so, I could get another comrade per second right there. A lot easier to follow. 250,000 workers. Or miners. Yeah, I'm a long ways off that. Just because of the amount of comrades I need. So this, my limiting factor right now, is just how many comrades I have. And that's something that is just not going to build up very fast. So it's probably more in my interest right now, because I can make so many more potatoes than I need, is to invest in the communes so that I start building up farmers faster. That way I'm relying less on comrades and I can use them elsewhere. So there we go. Every time this completes now, I get 3,164. So good deal. You can kind of see here how Adventure Communist has come a long way, at least from the last patch. I think it's a lot easier to follow and therefore makes this game quite a bit better. So let me head on over here to your comments from the last video. I know it's been like a month, but regardless, I'm going to read through it anyhow. So let's just chop through them, shall we? Metcuz says, great video, Brothgar. You are a really great YouTuber with a very different personality that I think I very much enjoy. Thank you so much. We got another spammer right there. Uh, Russian, Russia isn't communist, but China and Bueller's are. It's actually kind of an interesting question if you were to look into that. Russia was communist. Too many potatoes in the game broke and it and now I infinitely have zero potatoes. Hopefully they fix that for you, Game Boy Light. It's a new game. There's there's several bugs to be fixed out. Eddie, thanks so much for commenting. Not sure why anybody dislikes this right now, but hey, you know what? I guess it happens, right? John says, great video. Not sure whether it's dislikes, but keep doing what you're doing. Thanks so much. When does the game come out on Android when it's done, I believe, Ice King? Right now, it's currently in development, but I'm sure it'll be on Android, and that's probably where a lot of people are going to play this game. Although, I would say I think it would, should take less clicks to get all your daily upload, daily clicks or whatever, if you're playing on Android, because otherwise, that's a lot. Amazing. Finally, I've been playing this game for a long time. I use an auto clicker to help me. Yeah, I know, because it's a lot of clicks. I'm not sure what you're saying right there, but thank you so much for commenting. Sebastian, my ad cap got reset! Uh, I was really early in the game. Set fast. That stinks. You had full platinum upgrades? Crap! I just realized that you only have 16k subs. Now I have 17. Uh, how is that possible? Well, this game that I'm playing, or most of the games that I'm, I'm known for, are not the most popular games in the world. Probably a little bit different, but we'll see here in the future as I expand over more games. Uh, Super Minds Gaming. Nurses are the best. Easy to get scientists. This is all old school information we're talking about right now, but we'll see. Because um, it's going to be so different now. Everything's changed. Hello, M7868. I need more of this, please. I'm working on it. And since this game is a little bit better now, I think I'll be covering it more. Really like this game. Love your videos. Thank you so much right there. Charmin, Chris, when do you think it'll go on the App Store? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping it's getting close. Fingers crossed for this year, but I have no idea of the release date. Nice video, bro. Thank you so much. TV Gaming. I understand how your view of this game, of this idle game, isn't very idle. However, 
After a few weeks of playing this game runs itself. It's just kind of like Adventure, Communist, and all those other games. That it does... Your clicks become less... Well, not so much less valuable. They become less of your focus, right? Yeah. That's kind of what you're talking about right there. I Wars, thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys, everybody, for commenting. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Adventure Communist. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad to say that this game, in my mind, is a lot better than it was previously. Look at this. I can get up all these new communes, communes right now. I mean, that makes sense. This is a... Once you create these things, they, they start re folding up on themselves, right? They make the things that is essentially the limiting factor, which is, you know, your hats right here, or your farmers. Good deal. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar, out.